Hello from sunny Somerset in England. Just behind me is something we purchased last night. It is a Mitsubishi L300 from 1986. Let's give you a little look, shall we? So this is a coach-built motorhome by Pioneer from 1986 and it's a 1.6 petrol little four-cylinder. It's quirky I think. We did check out one of these in Poland but it was really really rough. This one is also quite rough but we like for the price we got it for I think it's the right features. We've got windows, we've got double glazed windows. The windows are a bit weird and cloudy we don't really know really if there's some kind of fix for that or if you just have to replace them. Let us know in the comments. Uh, other exterior features, rust. Um, there is, yeah, it's Japanese, it's old. Also, you have extremely adjustable dynamic mirrors which adjust while you drive and then you, you don't see behind you anymore. It's big inside, but outside it's not actually that big. It can fit in a standard parking space. The wheelbase is probably the same as our little Doblo. You just have this big extension on the back. I don't really have much else to say about the exterior. It's a bit dirty, quite dirty. So should we go inside? What about the back? Ah, yeah, the back. So the lovely lady who owned this, she managed to reverse into a little brick wall. So there is a bit of damage here which has also been fixed from the inside. We'll show you. It's, it's not terrible, to be honest, but it needs some love. Right, so we have three seats, which are actually very comfy. We have this lovely big steering wheel with no power steering. We have a funny handbrake here, which, yeah, weird. And a column shift, it's a manual and you have four gears, which that's first, that's second, that's third, that's fourth, and that's reverse. That took a little bit of getting used to, and it was certainly an interesting drive home. It will do about 60 miles per hour on the motorway on the flat. Once you start climbing up a hill, it will start slowing down. Yeah, this window has been replaced by plastic, and it currently doesn't work. Um, and on that side, we have some nice fluffy material. Tiger. Wow. The engine is just under these seats, but that's not that interesting. We can hop in the back, I guess. Also on the outside, it says police office. Please don't not entry. Thank you. Welcome to the crib. Where should we start? Well, first impressions, it is rough. Yeah, as you can see in here, it does need some work. I'm gonna take these sunglasses off. We don't really know what we're doing with this van yet. No. Let's give you a tour. Anyway, we can stand up in this, plenty of headroom. There is a kitchen here. like this, the fold out thing. Um, there is a grill, Oops, sorry. And for kitchen, there is also an oven. Oh, it's, it doesn't look like somebody touched it. It looks pretty fresh, I must say. Uh, and there is a fridge. And this, yeah. Missing front, the front door. Yeah, it is missing the front door. But yeah, fridge. Um, what's here? Oh, some old batteries and the gas stuff. Yeah, there's a sink, but there's not much left with the tap. The previous owner decided to cut this piece out because she didn't sleep on it or something. And it's just like that. So I guess if we have this vine, we would have to put something on the, like to cover this hole. Anyway, we've got a new duvet, <laughs> uh, nice blue ceiling. 
With stars. This was just painted on whatever. A curtain. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting choice of wallpapers. Yep. Uh, bathroom? Bathroom, We yes. have a bathroom. Wow! Ta da! Ta da! So, yeah, there is a toilet, there's a sink. The sink falls down like that. I'm pretty sure there's something in the toilet. It does smell a bit, and there is liquid in it. Um, oh, we have a lovely mirror. We're filming on the phone because we don't have the camera at the moment. Um, yeah, shall we continue on? What about all of these cupboards? Show us inside these cupboards. Oh, sorry. Plenty of cupboards. They have some nice touch of uh, blue masking tape <laughs> around it. Another one. Speakers. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Chocolate crap. <laughs> All right, come with a snack. Let's take the date on it. Where will be the date? Oh, here. Front. Oh, only 10th of November 2021. I can't see that. Over here. Yes. Nice. Mm, more cupboards, more cupboards. Yep. Here's some lovely imitation of tiles. Uh, and the moss. Mmm. Nice big windows. The windows are great. I like this the windows. This is actually a crazy view from it. Oh, some cool future in it. What's in the future. window? Oh yeah, this is cool. Uh, you can put goldfish in it or some glitter or something. <laughs> that would be cool. And yeah, the windows are actually sick. Show us the seating bed area. So you can actually sleep four in here if you wanted to. You can sleep ten in here if you want. Okay, four. Very, <laughs> very comfortably, four. Okay. Welcome to, to the living room. You can have a dinner with many friends. You could put table in the middle, laptop, la 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 la. Yeah, and that is what you can see has been fixed from the damage, but it's not really fixed. It's just a... It's a temporary, temporary um, bodge. Yeah. Do you want to turn this into a bed? Or oh, we can also show we got we got storage under these as well. Not there's, much. There's a water tank. Same on this side. There's like a, a water heater, a really old water heater. Um, yeah. So, and the cushions. Like yeah. This time. Cushions the, are nice. A little bit of fluff, fluff. Um. What else? Make the bed. How do you make the bed in? You need that piece. Yeah, that piece. Uh -huh. Just slide out. Uh -huh. Is it enough? Yes. Should fit perfect. This is definitely wider than this one. This bed, if it was made fully, it looks very similar size to the, the, the bed in our van. And this one down here, I would say is bigger. I don't know how wide that is, but it looks like almost a double, not, not quite a double. Come on, this is plenty of space. Yeah. Compared to what we have in our dobby. Wow. Oh, and we fit as well. Look, whoa, we're not squished. Not squished. Got space for our feet. But yeah, ideally you would just have your fixed bed up there and then this would be the lounge area and you don't have to mess around with yeah, every day. making beds. You just have your bed made up there, mm. hop up there, go to sleep. But if you ever have a guest or guests, they have a place to sleep. 
This is cool. Why is my head itchy now? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe please dampen it. Our bed bags. Yeah, there's also a gas heater there. But yeah, just as you can see, it needs it needs some love. It needs some some paint, some cleaning up. We don't have an exact plan yet with this, but we just know it's a kind of side project while we're here in England. If you're wondering about our van, it's still in Poland, but we are probably gonna go and fetch it quite soon and then drive it back here. It is a very cool space and we love the size of it. We could quite easily comfortably live in this van. Yeah, we are. I, I love the shape, like nice little, nice little boxy thing. Mm. And it's just, yeah, it's still, small but for two of us it will be really cool and comfortable comfortable to live to live in right let's take it for a little drive <laughs> let's go on a little drive down some english country lanes forget where the gears are. See you next time. Bye. Oh god, what gear? I'm totally lost now. That second. First. Right. <laughs>